Hi guys, I am Danny Baron and you are watching my first tutorial. I will try to teach you how to make a nicely animated text animation similar to the one in my last CS Rack movie, Rack A Name to Remember. So first off you gotta open a new composition in After Effects and just add a basic text with the name you want. On the right side you can change the font and the size then. I'm using the font media graphic now because it looks kinda professional I think. And I also will make the created by a little smaller so it looks like in a Hollywood trailer or something. And then you just need to click on animation presets and choose text and then blurs. Um, there are also a lot of other amazing effects. You can try as well but I'm using this now anyway. So you can see the animation looks really nice. And now you gotta render it. But it would take too long so I, I speed it up a little bit. When you finished rendering in After Effects, just drop the file in Zone Vegas. And then you can get it in the right position. Like um, you can use Pun and Grub and stuff. And then you can download my animation presets, they are in the description. I am using the third one. It's uh, kind of an explosion and looks really nice to me. Just drop it one layer under the text and then you change the first layer with the text to multiply mask. You can see that the background is only behind the text now and it's looking really good already. If you want to change the color of the background that's no problem. Just use any effect you want. I am using the magic looks plugin now. But you also can leave them normal or just add other effects. So yeah, this one looks kinda cool, I'm using it. Now you need to render again out of Sony Vegas. Just put the video in After Effects then. and search for the effect called glow. And then just play around with the effect a little bit. Mm, uh, I think it looks good now. If you want you can use some Twitch as well, it looks kinda cool on text animations if you use it the right way. I am only enabling slide, blur and light. And then I click on operator controls and change the RGB to 82%. So you can see how the color changes now and gets really brightly at some points now. And yeah, but it's by far too much for my taste, so we're gonna make it a bit less. By clicking on the clock on the left side you can enable keyframes and then just make it like me, one with um, like 12 percent or something and the other one with zero. So it fades out of it. And now you're basically finished and you can render it. And if you want to use it on a other background or a CS scene or anything, you just need to change the layer mode to add and then you will see it will be transparent. If you have any more questions feel free to ask me in the comments or send me a private message and please send a video response if you want with your own text animation try so that I can see the tutorial was worth it and I helped some of you. And please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube account as well so you always get my new videos and infos through mail. So thanks for watching, I'm Danny Baron and I hope to see you soon.